Hello. Hi, Mr. Hi, Mr. Vista. Vista. Happy Senior Celebration Week. I'd like to start by addressing the big question. Uh, what's going to happen with the events for the class of 2020? Um, just to let you know, things are moving forward with your celebratory events. Um, we have committees behind the scenes working extremely hard to find a way to make these events happen. Um, I know we've heard from most of you, and it's okay for you to feel the way you do about how your senior year has panned out. Um, just know that our team is here to support you, to help overcome obstacles, and continuously work hard in honor of the class of 2020. Definitely. And with that being said, um, our wonderful Mission Vista ASB has been doing a great job in trying to come up with creative ideas to keep you guys in the loop and keep the spirit alive while we are virtual. And one of the things they're doing is they're creating um, a spirit week for you guys this week. So obviously Monday, we had Merica Monday. Tuesday, today is going to be a formal Tuesday. Wednesday is Binge Wednesday. Thursday is Throwback Thursday, of course. So post your photos. And then Friday um, is going to be a college um, commitment or college wear day. So you guys can post things as well. Um, with that being said, they've also put together a senior Instagram features. So we want to be able to highlight um, all of our seniors and their awesome endeavors as we embark on those shortly here in the coming months. So if you guys wanna fill out this form that they created for you, you can upload a picture and then ASB is gonna be posting it on their ASB Instagram page. Um, make sure that you click on the link either in this um, video below in the description or it should be sent out to you through your email as well. So why is this Senior Celebration Week? Like ASB is focusing on on Friday with the, the Commitment Week, National Commitment Week is this week. What is that? It's your um, statement of intent to register. So May 1st is very well known in the college world. So if you're planning on applying to a four-year school um, next year and you've been accepted, you still need to, or if you've if you've been admitted, then you still need to accept their offer. So if you don't do that by their deadline, which the majority of colleges, including UCs and CSUs, is this Friday, May 1st, they can rescind that offer. So it's very important that you guys get it in and pay attention to your college portals because that's where a lot of this information is going to come. Um, during this unprecedented time, some colleges are pushing back their deadlines. So if you have questions about those, look in your portals, look on the college website, or um, you can always contact the admissions office. Um, and lastly, in regards to commitment day, and the importance of that is if you need additional time to make a decision or you need to defer a payment or something like that, make sure that you're getting in touch with your college admissions offices um, it directly so that way they can try to assist you to the best of their ability. All right, so seniors, remember May 1st is that deadline to commit. So make sure that you are communicating with your colleges, uh, reaching out and asking questions. For important information about financial aid, let's throw it to Mr. Kramer. Hey, thanks, Mr. Chavron. Um, hopefully by this point in time, you've been you've completed your scholarships, you've submitted your FAFSA and DREAM Act, and you've been receiving and reviewing information from the different schools. And you should always, this always comes in through your college student portal account uh, if you've been accepted. Um, it's important to make sure that you're aware of all the costs that you are and making an educated decision on the right college for you because um, not all financial aid awards are consistent between schools. So um, please be aware that typically colleges require you to take action on accepting financial aid awards. So make sure you pay attention to those and don't miss any of your deadlines. And should you have any questions about financial aid or have inquiries about other options to help supplement your expenses, you need to get in contact with your college as soon as possible. All right, and as seniors are hearing back from their colleges, um, what are some things that they should be considering, Miss Kenny? All right, so some of you have been receiving notifications from your colleges that you may be unable to move onto campus in fall and that you will be completing your coursework remotely from home. Please realize there's three ways to respond to this information. One, continue as planned. Commit to the four-year university and sign up for your courses, and hopefully you'll be able to move on to campus to get that four-year experience you planned and hoped for. 
two, you may opt to go to a community college to save money and stay local. Please realize if this is your option you choose, then you will need to complete your 60 credits, the traditional two, two and a half years worth of coursework before you can transfer to your four-year university of choice. Note that you can't just do it for one year and then transfer. You need to have that 60 credits before you can transfer. And then if you're really wanting to have that four-year experience and um, you don't want your freshman year to possibly be online working virtually from home, then you can take a gap year. You would need to communicate this with your university that has accepted you and it may affect your financial age financial aid package. This is the most ideal, however, if you do not want to feel stuck at a community college to complete the courses to transfer. Um, so this is just all of your options that you have. So please make sure that you're considering this throughout this week so that that way on Friday when you're committing, you're committing for your best and most, your happiest choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Miss Kenny. Um, now, um, it, you know, it's really important. Like, I want to reiterate the fact that we want you guys to communicate with your admissions office, mm -hmm. reach out to the colleges that you are going to uh, you are going to be attending um, next fall or going to be taking classes at and ask them questions. It never hurts to pick up the phone. Um, on that note, um, information on requesting and sending final transcripts. Uh, Mr. Kramer, can you give us some information on that? Sure will. So um, once you know which school you're attending, so basically after May 1st, um, if you need an official, you'll need to send an official transcript for them, um, or you might need that for any scholarships or organizations that might need those. Um, so um, please note that once you make a request for a transcript after May 1st, we're going to think of it as your final transcript request, meaning that you want that to be sent to the school of choice. And um, so we won't send it out until the school year ends. Um, but if you need a transcript sooner than that, for some reason, for um, either a scholarship or, uh, you know, uh, there's an organization that needs information about you, um, go ahead and make your request through Parchment, which is on our Mission Vista Counseling webpage. But we want you to also email Miss Miss Embry, who is our registrar, and she's at Cheryl Embry at VistaUSD.org. Um, that's our register at Mission Vista, and then she can process it prior to the end of the school year for you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kramer. Um, a final step for senior year will be filling out our senior survey. How and where do I find that, Ms. Parley? So seniors, in roughly two weeks, we'll be sending out a senior survey, and this is part of your required senior checkout process. We know um, you guys probably have a lot of questions about that senior checkout process, and that information will be coming as well, but this is just a heads up that this is something that you guys do need to complete in order for us to eventually give you your diplomas. Um, this survey will provide us with information to continue to support you um, being successful with whatever your plans are after school is over or high school. So whether that's the military, whether that's college, going to trader tech, taking that gap year, um, going straight into the workforce, whatever that may be, we wanna be able to continue to support you after that. And it also allows us to assist um, students in the future, making sure that what the needs are that you guys have, that we can focus on continuing to, to grow with those in the years to come. So be on the lookout for that senior survey. It should be coming in your um, student Gmail account with in the next two weeks. So just remember to fill out that senior survey for your graduation diploma. And now lastly, I would like to pass along a message from the newly established Mission Vista Alumni Association. Yeah. If you are a graduating senior or current alumni, please visit the Alumni Association website for the lack of me spelling it out, I'm going <laughs> to post it right there. But yeah. sign up for your membership today where you can RSVP for your class reunions, volunteer for alumni events, and stay in touch with other alumni. The Alumni Association is currently working on filling executive board leadership positions. Visit the website and fill out the form under Run for Office tab. <laughs> If you have not already done so, follow them on Instagram at mvhs.alumni and direct message them with your interest in running for an executive board position to receive a Google form that will also be counted as your application. If you have more questions, shoot them a message on the website or email them at mvhsalumni at gmail.com. Thank you sincerely from the Alumni Association.
And mm -hmm. for us, that is it. Thank you again for sticking with us, specifically to the class of 2020. Congratulations mm -hmm. on everything you've accomplished. We miss you all so, 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 so mm -hmm. much. Keep us posted about your college acceptances, scholarships, and other cool opportunities you're finding along the way. We love hearing about them. And from the counseling department to all of you guys. We miss we you. We love you. Yeah. We miss, we you. miss yeah. you. We're yeah. so proud of you. Good Go job. class of 2020. Whoop, whoop. We miss Peace you guys. Out. Love See you. That's the good Bye. work. Signing off, guys. Congrats. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you.